So if you'll recall, we, we, we kind of turned on payroll. Just to recap, on the left-hand side, you have to buy payroll if you're going to process payroll in QuickBooks. Your other option is to hire a third-party payroll provider, have them do all the kind of tedious stuff on payroll, and you just enter into the system what's needed for the financial statements and to do the bank reconciliations. Otherwise, if you're doing it within QuickBooks, then you're going to be processing the payroll within here, and then there's some other settings up top that are up in the cog and then we can go to the payroll settings so let's just go through these payroll settings one of them is going to be that mapping kind of issue that we talked about and we'll get down to that down below okay so you got your general item so you've got your general information up top so this is the info you used when you applied for the ein so if you're doing payroll from an IRS perspective, you need another number. That's a that's an employee identification number. That's a number that's not just necessary for doing payroll per se, or you might not want it just because you have employees. You might want it even if you're a sole proprietor, you being the only, only person doing work in the business so that you can give that number to others, possibly if they need it for 1099 reporting purposes, instead of giving your social security number. Then of course the company type down here is going to be important sole proprietor versus other formats so that uh, they can process the proper payroll. It should populate you would think automatically there because we entered that information in the company settings when we set up you know the general company settings. 